Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to the Legion expansion. We are back in the Broken Isles again, and we are currently in Deathwing's Lair, or now Therian's Lair, if you want to say it correctly. But it's pretty awesome to be in this dungeon and to fly around. I just came in from the very top of the dungeon and actually flew into the cavern here. As you can tell, we are out of side of the map. And uh, I'll show you how I got out here in a little bit. Uh, but very simple, not too hard. Just requires some pillows here. And a little bit of jumping over here in the entrance and you'll get out pretty simply. But uh, yeah, let's go take a look around. I'm super excited to go explore this place as I've only been in this place a few times. Now, if you guys notice, the place is lit up normally it looks like this a little spooky right but i did put on the stinky bright potion and it gives you a whole new feel and look to the cavern which i like because it allows you to see things in a whole new light now as you can tell some of the waterfalls over here on the left side are just coming out of nowhere <laughs> They're just for effect. And actually, normally, you can't actually get to these places right here. Those are actually just models that you're never supposed to fight. They're just NPCs hanging outside the map. Just for more effect and show. And but we'll definitely go fly down there and check them out. But I want to show you guys something really interesting that I found outside the map here. Is this map is... This, this place is absolutely massive. It's huge. Um, and... If you get outside the boundaries of the map, you can come down here and see that a lot of the water and all that back here isn't actually rendered. It's just kind of blue textured ground. So there's actually no water back here. It's just more of an effect, which I thought was really interesting. Give you guys a better zoomed out look here. Now there is water effects over here, obviously, but up here, you're never supposed to see this anyways. So, Blizzard's just like, eh, we'll save some more resources and not actually make water down here, which I thought was an interesting decision. But what's really interesting is if you actually come out this way, you can see that there's actually an outside to this dungeon right over here. And if we make our way out this way, hopefully we can fly and make it here. You can go actually directly outside here. And... You because remember, you're supposedly you're in a lair, you're in a cave, right? So Blizzard had to make it with the smoke and mirror effect of you actually being inside of a cave. So what they did was they just put a huge dome-like structure above you. Kind of like what they did in the Deep Home in the middle of the Azeroth map here, the Maelstrom. And you remember in Deep Home you have kind of like this cavern and then you have the center here. Well, that's kind of what they did here as well. Uh, and it's very similar to what they did. So, and actually what's really funny is I think they actually use some of the same structure, what they did in, uh, deep home and down there in the maelstrom. So, and what's really funny is actually outside the map here, there is a whole body of water surrounding the whole map and it just goes all the way out. It's just an ocean. Now, I don't believe you can actually jump out there because if you try, I think this is the boundary wall right here. And if you try to jump out, you're going to get stuck in this wall and you're going to have to just, you know, either metamorphosis out or, you know, get out another way. So be careful doing that. But I thought that was interesting that this map is actually a lot bigger than they uh, put it out to be. Now, actually, if we make our way this way, you can see we're back off the map. We're somewhere over this way over here. So we're actually heading towards the entrance again. But if we zoom in here. You can kind of get a close-up of the polygon-type model structures going on over here. Because the structures are actually masked, usually, with the, uh, the mist of the map, you're normally not supposed to see up here that far because everything's kind of enshrouded. So let me give you an example. Right now, everything's lit up because of the stinky bright potion. If we take that off... Now you can kind of get a better little light of kind of what you're seeing here, right? Normally, you're not supposed to see this far up. This is all just effect and smoke and mirrors with the models that are sticking outside the map. But if you light up the map, 
you can kind of see it's a very low polygon model of a structure of a house out here so that's actually really neat to see and right here we're actually at the beginning of the waterfall so let's walk over there now blizzard you can kind of see how they do waterfalls here i thought this was an interesting waterfall here because i guess because if you come out here and you're actually fighting the NPCs over here. You can normally see over here. So why they made a waterfall. I guess your vision. You actually don't see anything. But I thought that was interesting. Because look at it. It just comes out of nothing. <laughs> why they did that. I have no idea. Well let's actually go take a look out this way. There is a body of water out here. Over here. That we can actually go fly to. I don't know if you guys didn't notice, I have some new gear on. I got it from the uh, trading post. I liked it a lot, the transmog. So, rocking some uh, submarine type gear looking stuff here. Okay, so this actually isn't water. I thought this is just like dark water out here. But they do have these... Now, something very strange. They do have these like blue markings on the ground. These are actually very common in the OOBs. And you'll see them a lot outside the maps of... Well, just different dungeons and whatnot. But I, I believe they're just markings of the terrain and, you know, blending in with the colors that when the developers or the creators of the map were making the game, the game designers, um, I'm assuming this is like the shades that they would use to kind of blend in the environment. I don't know, maybe someone who's the game designer can kind of, you know, prove me wrong there and tell me exactly why they use those. And if you guys hear that, we're coming up to a waterfall. Now we are actually inside the waterfall. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Now if we actually head out this way. We can keep going around here. And you can tell we are over here. So we're actually getting back towards the entrance. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back this way. And we're going to go head down here and go check out the... Uh, the modeled area down here that we're never really normally not supposed to see hopefully we don't fly through this okay it is solid all right good i've actually never explored out here until now so i'm excited to just see things for the first time with all of you now look at there's actually these low polygon polygon models out here and normally you're never supposed to get out here like i said these are just um NPCs that are just hanging out for smoke and mirror effect. There is an, and there actually is no entrance to these homes. Can you get on top? Of, nope. You actually just walk straight through everything too. Now, if we were to fly from back up that way, we actually could land on here. So we definitely could get on top if we wanted to. Which I'm assuming we can do like this. There we go. There we go. And, okay, we just go straight through there, but that's good. As you guys can tell, we're on top of the house now. I was really excited to come do this dungeon because I've always wanted to explore and see what was around the area here. Now, if we actually make our way over here, we could see some NPCs walking across the bridge. And you can't actually attack them, and they just disappear, but they spawn... Right there, and they just walk across. Just like guards running back and forth. Now, actually, if we can make our way up the mountain here. Let's go take a look and see what's over here. Now, this is really awesome. I don't want to clip back into bound, so I'm trying to be careful here of staying inside the middle of the map here. Of places that you're never supposed to actually see or get to. But I'm trying to make my way around the mountains. So I can go up first, and then go back down. 
and then uh, I think we can get on top of here. Yeah. So all of these you can actually climb on, which is really awesome. You can get on, on top of all these bridges and all that. But it's so funny to me that there's so much, like, territory in this that you're actually never supposed to get to. And it's just supposed to be, like, smoke and mirror effect with the NPCs and all that. Now, we can actually jump down here, and I can show you guys a little bit more of the village going on. Oh, and you actually just fall straight through those. Okay, I didn't know that. Let's get a closer look at some of these models. Look at this dude and his mask. Does he actually have a face? Yeah, he does. Uh, maybe. I think the mask might. He does notice we're here. He looked at me. See? They look at. They do look at you when you come by. So if you stop, look at. <laughs> That's funny. So they do know that we're here. And then we got some more guards going on over here. And we don't want to go out that way because that will put us back into the map. So we're actually going to head back up this way. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can make our way out this way. Now, unfortunately, we kind of fly through all these structures, so we gotta be careful where we're going here. Because we don't want to slip and then fall down. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so, so far we're right here, which we're not too far from the entrance. So we can make our way still down this way, and let's go take a look and see what's going on back here. Ooh, look at that under shot there. Oh, that's awesome. We're actually inside of the rock right now. Or the home. We don't want to fall down there. That looks like we'd get stuck. Probably get out with our seesaw, but... This is an awesome under the uh, structure here. Got. And I do apologize, guys, if I sound a little tired tonight. I'm actually filming this pretty late at night. It's almost 11 o'clock my time. So, just a heads up. <laughs> I'm excited to be here and explore this dungeon, but if I don't sound super enthusiastic, I do apologize. Uh, it is getting pretty late here. But I wanted to get this video in. And I've been wanting to come to this place for a while, so... Now, what I really want to go explore is I want to go see over there, down inside, more inside the cavern. But I don't want to go back into bounds. So let's actually go head out this way. There we go. Let's get a shot over here. And as you guys can tell, normally, I haven't done this dungeon in a long time, but you can go in the water and all that. So they have like the waterfall with the, the wind, you know, the water mill and the, all that set up. But if we keep heading out this way, this is where I wanted to get to, down to the cavern here. I want to go check out these skull and, like, dragon uh, bones down here. Look at that. How awesome is that? You're going to get some cool shots here. So that's actually the last boss's room down here. There's the last boss right there, I believe. Yep, that is the last boss. So we actually want to go around the last boss. We actually want to head out this way. And there goes the other boss there. Where we want to go is we actually want to go head out this way. And let's go around. And I want to show you guys that... Uh, oh, I think we went back into bounds. Crap. Well, that's okay. What we can do... Oh, we're floating on midair. Okay. Um, I think what we can do is we can just land down here. Um, and we should be able to put down a toy, maybe? Ah, uh, man, we messed up. I should have stayed more above. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, we should be able to get back out if we just place the pillow down over here. So what we can do is let's head out this way. That guy just pushed me. Jerk. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. You want a tussle or something, big boy? Look at this. Okay. All right, I've had enough. I've had enough of your shenanigans. 
Look at that dude just shoving me out of the way. He's like, get out of the way, dude. Go do your stupid OB stuff over there. <laughs> uh, it's funny. There we go. All right. So it looks like we're back outside the map again. Um, set a place down a pillow. Now, where do we go from here? That's the real question. Let's go out this way. And we what we can do is we can fly over here. Okay, let's try that again. That was a big fail. What we can do is fly over here. Jeez. Jeez, Nathan, get yourself together here. All right, there we go. And what we can do is fly up here. There we go. This is exactly where we wanted to go. Not a big deal. Okay, so this is what I actually wanted to show you guys. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So what's really funny is Blizzard did like this smoke and mirror effect up here that you're never supposed to see and they just made it look like it's supposed to be water because because we have the stinky bright potion on down here and looking inside it looks like just more water right when it has like the mist and the fog all down here so normally when you're going through the dungeon you're actually just seeing like an effect of nothing <laughs> there's nothing here but they want you to believe that there is water here so i thought that was really kind of a neat trick of how they play off like there's still water running down here now to be fair with you guys I don't know why they didn't just continue the waterfall going down this way. They literally could have just made some more water flow here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, is it? But I guess I understand why they didn't, because this area is supposed to be all lava, where this area all appears like water. So I guess I understand it. Now here goes one of the big bones sticking out of the ground. Check that out. Can we land on it? We can. Awesome. So we can actually walk up these things. You know, that's actually a really cool boss arena down there. Look at that. It's awesome seeing these things. It's pretty cool. Oh, let's go check this out over here. We got like some smoke and fire and lava particle effects. Let's go fly into here and see what we can find. All right, nothing really. My real question is, can this lava hurt us if we jump in it? No, okay, so it's just more for effect, if anything. I'm also curious if the lava can hurt us over here as well. If we actually jump down here, is this actually real lava? No, it's not, okay. So you can actually walk down here if you guys want. You don't actually have to deal with real lava, which is really nice. You know what this also reminds me of? The Zerilek Caverns in the Dragon Isles uh, down below. It is very similar to that nature of uh, what's actually down there. And I actually need to make a video going down there still. I haven't done that yet. Pretty simple to get out of bounds there. It doesn't take too much work. But let's see if we can actually get back up and go this way. Oh, and I still need to show you guys how I actually got out of bounds. Um, and who actually got the OOB bounty for it as well, so. Alright, let's head up here. And let's go walk across. I'm trying to be careful not to clip back into bounds. Again. And I want to get on some of these bone structures, which I think are really neat. Oh, we're falling. We failed again. Uh, okay, we're good. Glad that worked out. Where is the ending? I think it's over there, right? The entrance, uh, the how to get out. There we go. All right, we're doing some parkour and parkour. I like seeing this dungeon in a whole new light here. I think it's really neat. Being able to explore this place and see it all lit up wow that's awesome I'm glad you can climb all the bones and everything oh okay I think we clip back into bounds okay that's okay it won't let me I would have to put another pillow down 
That's okay. I don't think there's too much left to see over here anyway. So let me show you guys how I got out and then uh, we'll end the video there. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump down here. And you know what? Let's just go kill the boss while we're at it. Why not? Oh gosh, they're rushing me. All right, that was good. The hammer never chose you, Darbu. It seeks a wielder. Who there we go. All right. Strength, <laughs> and you were found we did it, guys. It's so done. let's go. Uh, I'll be right back. Darby I will show you guys how I got out. All right, guys. Welcome back. This is how I escaped out of Naltharian's lair. Um, it's very, very, very simple, not too hard to perform. Um, it's very easy, just right behind me. It takes, you know, I would definitely just use a uh, pillow and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Um, the bounty on this goes to, let's take a look here. We're looking for an Aetherian's lair. And I believe... I got to find it in my list here because I definitely want to give credit to the right person of who got the bounty here. Uh, now Therian's lair goes to, I don't know if anybody <laughs> I'm looking through my list, but, uh, I'm not actually seeing it on the list here unless I'm overlooking. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, I'm actually not seeing it on my list. Um, so, I guess... Alright, let me just double check one more time. Um, of who actually got this bounty. Not seeing it. I guess I'll just give myself the bounty for now. And if Hero can correct me on if someone actually did this, but uh, yeah, I don't see it on the list. So if I overlook the list, I apologize to you guys. Um, but I guess I'll just claim the bounty for now. And if someone else did it for me, I will go get that corrected. All right. But anyways, um, so I don't know who to give this OB credit to first, but um, I guess I'll just take it for now and I'll just show you guys how I got out. Very simple. Right behind me are these rocks. Um, you can literally just jump up them. Or you should be able to. And walk across. There we go. And what you can do is you can actually just come right back here. And you'll get stopped by a wall. You should. Yep, there we go. Just place a pillow on the ground. Boom. And we are officially out. And that's it. And now you just come up this way. And I believe you can make your way up this way if you want. It's up to you. You can either do this way. Or you can go out that way as well. Which I don't think actually leads to anywhere. So I would definitely recommend up this path right here. And you just jump straight out. And there you go. You're out of uh, Naltharian's lair. The blizzard made it pretty dang simple to get out of this one um i don't think they were like eh, people get out whatever there's not much to see out here anyways <laughs> what are they gonna go explore the low polygon modeled buildings <laughs> uh and there you go that's how to get out and what's actually interesting is if you actually come back over here there's actually a hidden message over here that they were writing on the ground and i never knew this was here until now so if you come over here, I don't know exactly what it says, but right there on the ground, you can see a message in the Zeralak Caverns, uh, Zeralak Caverns, in Naltharian's Lair. And uh, yeah, there's something on the ground there. I don't know, maybe somebody knows exactly what it says. Um, obviously you were never supposed to get back here to see it anyways. Now, one thing maybe we could try to see what the full message says is we can actually clip through. Okay, I have an idea. 
we might be able to see unless that's just markings and not actually a message but is what we could do technically is we can get uh if you get if you get under these walls here like these under these uh cavern type areas um you can what you can do is you can build a seesaw usually and then uh the walls will disappear once you get inside of them and you can just walk across the wall or whatever but what's interesting you come down here it's like spelling out something and i don't know what so unless they were just markings for something else that they were going to put out here and they just never did i don't know but man if anybody knows exactly what this says please let me know i would like to know uh and i'm very interesting because you know, just like they put Mantis outside of the Gate of the Setting Sun. Um, I'm curious to see what they put out here. So, Alright guys, well thank you for watching this Naltharian's Lair video. I definitely highly, highly recommend you come explore this place. It's really neat to see. Uh, and again, if I miss the bounty on this place, I apologize. But uh, I didn't see it on the list. So I'll just take it for now. And uh, I'll just look through, and if I find it, I'll, you know, make a comment. Hey, this person got the bounty first. I always want to give credit where credit is due. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for always supporting the ATN channel. You guys are the best in the world. I'm excited for the transmog contest coming up. And, uh, as always, guys, my name is Nathan, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.